What about product rule? Let's look at the definition first. You have two functions that are differentiable. If we take the derivative of the product of u and v, it's equal to u times the derivative of v plus v times the derivative of u. Let's take, say, I have y is equal to the function f of x times g of x. By the product rule, y prime just says that I'll take f of x and multiply with the derivative of the other function plus f prime of x times g of x, the derivative of the first times the second. Notice that it doesn't matter which order I take the derivative of because it's just a sum. So if I have y equal to, say, x squared times x cubed plus 1, I can apply the derivative rule here. If I take y prime, I'll say it's equal to the deri derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first or vice versa, as long as you take a derivative one at a time. So suppose we take, um, we take x squared and multiply by the derivative of the second function, which is 3x squared, plus, now we take the derivative of x squared, it's equal to 2x times the function, the second function, x cubed plus 1. And here, we can still simplify this by expanding on it, and it'll be 3x to the fourth plus 2x to the fourth plus 2x. So it's equal to 5x to the fourth plus 2x. Let's take another example. Suppose y is equal to x plus 1 times x squared minus 4x. So you have the first function times the second function. y prime is equal to take the first function, multiply by the derivative of the second, 2x minus 4, plus, now take the derivative of the first, the derivative of x plus 1 is 1, times the second function, x squared minus 4x. And this can just be simplified once you expand uh, x plus 1 times, or you multiply x plus 1 times 2x minus 4. And here, notice that 2 is a co uh, common factor, so I can pull that out and say 2 times x plus 1 times what's left here would be x minus 2 plus x squared minus 4x. And this is equal to 2 times the quantity x squared minus x minus 2 plus x squared minus 4x. And that's just equal to 2x squared minus 2x minus 4 plus x squared minus 4x. And if we continue to simplify, the final answer should be 3 x squared, by combining like terms, minus 6x minus 4. So that's a derivative by applying uh, the product rule. Now let's look at the quotient rule. The derivative of u over v is equal to, let's see what, um, what is the quotient rule. It's equal to, first you take the derivative of the top, times the function at the bottom, minus, now this time you take the derivative of the one in the denominator, dv by dx, times the function in the numerator. Whole thing is divided by the square of the function in the denominator. Let me give you an example to illustrate. Y, let y be equal to, say, x plus 1 over x minus 2. So if I have this quotient, I will take the derivative now by using this quotient rule. First of all, why don't we go ahead and square the denominator, because that's the square of the bottom. x minus 2, whole thing squared. 
Now what is the top? The top says you take the bottom and multiply by the derivative of the 1 in the numerator. And the derivative of x plus 1 is just 1. Minus, now you take whatever is the numerator on the top, x plus 1, okay, times the derivative of the denominator, which is 1. So if we simplify all of this, we will get x minus 2 minus x minus 1. whole thing would be divided by x minus 2 squared. And that gets further simplified into negative 3 all over x minus 2 squared. Let's take another example. Let's say y is equal to 2x divided by 3x squared plus 1. What would be y prime? y prime is equal to, let's go ahead and square what's at the bottom, 3x squared plus 1, whole thing squared. Now what lies on the top? What would be put on the top? It says it's, you take what the function that's at the denominator, so let's take 3x squared plus 1, multiply by the derivative of the 1 on the top. What's the derivative of 2x? It's 2. Minus, take the function that's on the top, multiply by the derivative of the denominator, which is equal to 6x. And all we need to do now is just simplify. 3x squared plus 1. And this becomes 6x squared plus 2 minus 12x squared. So that comes down to negative 6x squared plus 2. And the whole thing is divided by the quantity 3x squared plus 1 squared. Okay? Second and higher order derivatives. If I have a function y, I can take the, deri uh, the second derivative or the third derivative and so on and so forth. So let's say y is equal to 6x cubed plus 4x squared minus 3x plus 1. If I take the first derivative, it's equal to 18x squared plus 8x minus 3. To get the second derivative, I just take the derivative of the first derivative. So y double prime is equal to 36x plus 8. And if I continue, I can take the third derivative. It'll be 36. And furthermore, if I will take the fourth derivative, it'll be equal to 0. So this just shows that we can find higher order derivatives of a given function if they exist.